Hi guys, if you are new to the channel, my name is Erin. I just got back to the United States after living for a year in Mexico in the most beautiful city on earth, Guanajuato City. Today's video is going to be my top five favorite restaurants in Guanajuato. I have never made a video about top this or that in Guanajuato. Never before have I done this. It's kind of funny because I've read so many posts online about what to do in Guanajuato, where to eat, what to see, all this stuff. What I've noticed about a lot of those style of posts and videos is that they tend to recommend the same properties as all the other ones. And I think it's because a lot of the times they're written by people who were only able to come to Guanajuato for a weekend or a week or maybe two weeks and then they had to leave to the next destination. And so I never wanted to make one of those videos because I feel like it takes a while to really get to know a city and to get to know what the locals like about living there and where the locals go and how to navigate a place like that. At some point I was like, girl, you have been living here for 10 months. Like at some point you can say what your favorite places are. So I get asked all the time, I'm going to Guanajuato City, where should I eat? What's the best place to see this? Where sh what What's the best museums to go to? And I kept answering these questions and just wishing that there was like one resource that I could point people to. Like, here you go, this is gonna tell you everything you need to know. But even with Lonely Planet, dear as they are to my heart, I just felt like there are so many things that get missed. And so I wrote my own guidebook to Guanajuato. I'm super excited to be launching it this week. It is 140 pages of pictures and memories and stories from our life there. This book is so special to me because it's basically our, our whole life in Guanajuato in a book. And basically if you have this guidebook you will be able to create our whole existence in Guanajuato. If you want to check that out I will leave the info in the description box and let's get started. Okay, so my first restaurant pick is my favorite budget restaurant, Chela y Chuchita. It's basically a taco stand moved indoors, which if you are towing around a preschooler, sometimes ordering something from a taco stand and sitting down on the curb or trying to find some place to eat it is just not ideal. So whenever we wanted that, street food style of um, cuisine, we would head over to Chile Chuchita, and there is a place to sit. It is super fresh. Um, they've got tacos, volcanes, and these things called chuchitas, which is kind of like a quesadilla. Basically, it's ooey gooey grilled cheese and things inside. It's, uh, it's so good. If you're vegetarian or vegan, there are options for you. My favorite thing to get there was the Jamaica chuchitas. Cheese, sorry vegans. But um, Jamaica is hibiscus blossom and it is so good. And another favorite is the salchicha verde, this one, herby green sausage. Mm, so good, okay, now I'm hungry. Okay, next up is the fancy option, and that is Los Campos. You basically cannot come to Guanajuato and not have someone tell you to go eat at Los Campos, and there is a good reason for that. I, though everybody will list this on a best of list, I would be remiss if I left it off. So, go to Los Campos. It's a tapas restaurant, but the portions are so generous that you are going to overorder and you're gonna be fine with that. You're not gonna be disappointed about it. <laughs> Los Campos is also a great date restaurant. It's romantic and vibey and dark. Uh, it's really nice. It's right off of Plaza Baratillo. So you can, you know, people watch and get chocolates afterward. And Okay, now I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> if you want all that stuff is in the guidebook.
Okay, if you are looking for a solidly good traditional Mexican restaurant, head on over to Truco Siete. It is in Centro. It's right around the corner from the theater. It's right across from the big yellow church. It's close to everything. The portions are really generous. It's just good Mexican comfort food. You just, you kind, you kind of feel like you're in an old, a big old family home eating a good meal. Okay, my next pick, I am going to name it Best Atmosphere because you eat outside in the plaza, in Plaza San Fernando. The restaurant is El Cerro de las Ranas. We just called it the Frog Restaurant because the name translates to Hill of the Frogs, which is Guanajuato's nickname. So when you come to Guanajuato City, you're gonna see little frog figurines and trinkets and souvenirs around, and now you know why. At this restaurant, there is no indoor seating. It's only outdoors. It's on the plaza. You feel very continental. You feel very cool. Um, Jesse always got the enchiladas mineras. Um, I would dabble in things, but I would always get a sangria there. And there's just something lovely about eating on the plaza. You should absolutely eat outside when you come to Guanajuato as often as you can. <laughs> Okay, so the last restaurant is my favorite restaurant in Guanajuato City. The very first restaurant we ate at when we moved to Guanajuato, uh, and possibly the reason that we stayed there for 10 months, <laughs> is Habibti Falafel. And it might seem kind of weird to pick a falafel shop for my favorite restaurant in a Mexican city, but this place is just so good and consistently good. And the thing you have to know about Guanajuato restaurants is unfortunately, some struggle with consistency. So you can go and have an amazing meal one time and the next time it's just like, mm. But Habibti Falafel, I never had a bad meal here. It always tasted exactly the same, no matter when we went to, to eat there. The wrap sandwiches are ginormous and they're messy, so it's awkward, but they're also delicious. And after you eat it, you feel healthier and like just good. And the lentil soup is really delicious. And I know that lentil soup does not sound that exciting. Like no one's gonna be like, I'm going to go to Puerto City. I can't wait to have the lentil soup. <laughs> so you're just gonna have to trust me on this. It's really good, it's really hearty, it's really delicious. I think you'll I think you'll like it. There you have it, my top five restaurants in Guanajuato. This list was so hard to make. It's narrowing it all down to five restaurants. It's just so not fair. I don't know why I did that to myself. Well, I do know because if I was gonna be for real, it would be like top 50 restaurants in Guanajuato. This would be three hours long. <laughs> so if you want the rest of the story, the whole list, all of our favorites, the hidden spots, the hidden gems, and the best gelato you will have outside of Italy. Um, get the guidebook, link is in the description, and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications for more videos like this on this channel. There are going to be a bunch of them. I am only just getting started, so we're doing best places to go for nightlife, what to do if you've only got a day in the city, 
Ugh. <laughs> Favorite museums, all of that is coming soon. Also, huge shout out to my friends, Becky, Greg, Leslie, Dan, and Ellen over on Patreon. We are creating this awesome little community. Um, I am loving it so far. If you want to join our club, I'll leave the information in the description below. Um, head on over there, check us out. Uh, of course, all the patrons will be getting the guidebook before everybody else and a discount code, of course, because I love you guys. And yeah, that's it. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I love you guys. I will see you later. Bye.